All right, what questions do you guys have Thoughts for me? on first day? Getting out there. Yeah, get really going. good day. I, I thought, uh, you know, the guys worked really hard. You can tell we have a lot of uh, uh, veterans, guys that have had a lot of experience. So, um, you know, I think they're, they're leading the way, and, and it showed a little bit today. And, and not a lot of missed assignments. Um, obviously got a lot of work to go, but I was just really pleased with how far along our guys are and, and probably the, uh, the fact that there's a lot of upperclassmen coming back. And guys that had uh, valuable ex uh, playing experience time would, would be huge benefit for us as a team. Go over some of the goals, just what you want to accomplish over the next four weeks. Yeah, we got a, uh, I mean, obviously we, we want to get as many guys ready to play, and then um, there's competition uh, in a lot of different spots, and so we, we need to see guys compete and, and win sp spots outright, and if not, then that will carry on into the fall. So that's probably the, the main goal that I have as a head coach. How would you describe the quarterback competition, if, if, that is, if you would phrase it that way, going into uh, healthy and strong, so the guys are, are doing good and they have a lot of experience. So uh, I expect a lot from those guys. I think they should be. Uh, they, I know they expect a lot from themselves. So uh, we'll see how how it carries over. I think we have a, a solid defense to contend for, with them and, and make things really difficult. But uh, I, I have a lot of confidence in, in all the, all the quarterbacks on our on our roster. Is that starting quarterback job up for grabs going into spring? Yeah, every every job is. So um, no one's safe. That's how, how it works. Um, as evenly as possible. There's enough. There's enough to go around. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have enough reps for guys to to show what they can do. What is Chaz all you status? Yeah, love Chaz. Um, obviously, the uh, you know we um, he's on part of the team and he's here, but he's not going to be participating in spring. And pretty much uh, he's got to go through a process, you know. And, and uh, that's probably the most I can say right now at this point. And I think it'd be inappropriate for me to say any more than that but that we love them and and we'll support them as much as we can talk about going through that process because you dealt with the meal and, mm -hmm. and just these types of things i mean kids make mistakes what's it like with, as you deal with things like that or well we have we have a certain standard that we that we follow here and, and that's um you know ours is a little bit different than than um most teams but when it comes to something like that that's that's uh, pretty much universal you know for us it's it's a matter of uh, helping the young men and, and football is not the most important thing at, at this moment right now is to help them and and help them find their goals and be get it back on track with their family uh, want them to be you know so um, we've we've talked about our standard and our expectations when it comes to recruiting and and we're up front with a lot of recruits and and um, you know even with that being said uh, you know I think I think uh, consequences are part of the deal but I also believe that when when guys are doing well you praise them as much as they as they're accomplishing a lot of things, and so we have a certain standard that comes with academics on the field and definitely off the field in their their lifestyle. So uh, I don't we expect believe, them to do that. I don't believe Neil is suited up today. Is, is he going to participate in spring practice? Yeah, he will, and it's just a. Uh, it's actually just. Um, I don't know what the best way to say it. It's just like a paperwork deal. So it's unfortunate because I know he was really excited to get on the field, and I think he had something to do with insurance or something like that. So that's probably more. Um, the training room and all that. All, all we know is that we are compliant with all the rules, school and, and NCAA, and, and uh, I think he'll be ready to go tomorrow, though. But it, it, it was just that. It has nothing else to do but other than that. How soon do you expect to have your running back position coach filled? Um, as soon as we can, yeah. I think we have a lot of good candidates, and I think it's important that we um, you know, work with it and, and do our best to, to make sure that that spot's filled with the right person and the right fit. And so... A lot of good quality candidates, and uh, we'll keep working with that. In the meantime, Harvey Uma is going to be running the room, and he'll do that in, in uh, you know, in conjunction with Grimey and A Rod and the rest of the group. Is he a candidate for the? Of course, yeah, yep. definitely. Can you speak about? Can you speak about Neil and just kind of the process he's gone through? Over the yeah, past really proud years. of him, and, and and he's done some really good things. Obviously, there's still some work to go, you know, and I know athletically he wants to accomplish a lot of different things, and. Um, I'm just really proud of the things that he's done in this in this past year and, and really excited that he can uh, get back on the field and play and, and contribute to this team. Uh, a lot like what he's been doing in, in, with the, in society the last, uh, in the community the last year. He's, I've been really proud of the steps that he's made and the, um, you know, just the, the things that he's been able to do to, to help out and, and be more educated on it and then also sharing his experience with others. You had hinted that there might be some assignment changes among your staff. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us what those are? Um, yeah, but I probably won't right now. So <laughs> <laughs> we're working hard, and, and the guys are working well, and um, we're doing a lot of different things. But yeah, I, I offense mean, or defense? All three phases. You're forgetting special teams. So yeah.
<laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll let you guys know more as we go along. It's just one thing I can do to hold over your guys' heads. But, yeah, What's guys. been the best part about being back on the field with your guys? Oh, just football, man. I, I've been really excited uh, just to, you know, obviously the season didn't end the way we wanted it to, and there's some things that didn't go throughout the season like we wanted to, and our goals were uh, not accomplished. And so we have an, an opportunity now to make things better. And there's a huge sense of urgency from our whole team, not just from the coaching staff, but uh, the leaders on the team and guys wanted to do things and, 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 and perform a lot better this this fall and so it starts you know started back in January and in December and been really proud of the way the guys have kind of got themselves ready and the intrinsic motivation is definitely there so we have a bunch of leaders and guys that are taking over and um, you know it, it's it's a it's a really good position for us to be in right now I'm, I'm feeling really excited about it what do you want to do with this defense to create more havoc uh, this year create more havoc and get more big plays and get more turnovers and yeah, so we'll have to uh, do some things to help our guys do that. I believe we have the right players, and, and I believe we have the right minds, and, and uh, we just got to put it all together, get the best 11 on the field, uh, depending on the circumstance and situation, and, and create all kinds of havoc, like you said. And, and that's, I think we're good at that. So um, I think today we, we, we saw our guys really step up. Some, some guys do some things differently that they just didn't seem like freshmen and sophomores anymore. So that's a good sign for us. Will you consider a scheme change with uh, your base front? Always, yeah. We're, we're considering a lot of different things. We do a lot of different things defensively. And I think we're at the place now where we can kind of adapt to our, our best person, personnel on the field. So, yeah, we're, that's always part of, the, part of the plan. Kalani, last year you really emphasized the player leadership roles, kind of mm-hmm. really ramped that up even more so. What, uh, are you doing anything different this year in spring or anything else you're emphasizing to, mm-hmm. you know, this, this season? It's all different. You know, I mean, I, I think if, if you want to see changes and you want to see um, improvement and production, that you need to change things up. And so we've done a lot of things differently, whether it's coaching assignments, uh, position, um, you know, positions as far as personnel, where guys play. Uh, the goal is to get the best 11. I feel like we have a lot of guys with a lot of experience, and uh, we, there's some things that we can do kind of mess around a little bit with it and, and get us in the best position to have wins. That's a key. You have a team win uh, where everybody's doing their best and, and relishing, relishing the roles that they have.